how could they do that stuff? Torture people. No, it's not like the old ancient torturing methods they used in ancient times or medieval times where they put these steel cages on people's heads and and, uh, and put or put and then put make people be getting boxes with snakes or scorpions or or uh, what else did they do? They would strip people naked and put hooks in their noses and put them on chain, link them all together with chains and walk them through these deserts. The Assyrians, they'd skin people alive. The Assyrians, they'd hang people on crosses. The Persians and the Romans, uh, they'd uh, whip you with a cat of nine tails, you know, with the shards of glass or metal hooked up to these these ropes or weeds or whatever they were on a rod. <laughs> They would cut open your back with these razor sharp uh, shears or whatever they call them, shards. But now we don't do that stuff. We're civilized. Now we use nuke. Now we use missiles and bombs and explosives. C four. We use uh, our other other armament armaments and weapons. Uh, no, we don't use those old archaic barbaric uh, methods and tools to implement torture and suffering and cruelty. No, we use bombs and, 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 and nuclear warheads and missiles and scuds and tanks and, 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 and fighter jets and all this stuff. Yeah, we're civilized. We're not civilized. We just have, we've just modernized our weapons. We've modernized our weapons and we've become sophisticated in our in our methods of cruelty. And instead of just going after and fighting and warring with just small numbers of people, armies like you know three hundred, five hundred, uh, ten thousand, twenty thousand. Now it's now it's hundreds of thousands of people with one bomb can be. Look what happened to Japan. Look what happened to Japan. One, one bomb settled the conflict. One bomb settled the conflict. That's what they did. And it was terrible because so many innocent civilians were massacred. And they didn't deserve it. They didn't have it coming to them. But... The few people that cause the mayhem and the few people that cause the problems spoil it for everyone else. They ruin it for all everyone else. You get a few of these people trying to pull all the strings and, and make all the decisions for everyone else. The leaders of their governments or tribes or, or peoples. And then mass innocent, massive of innocent people get, are, in, are, are in the way. And they get annihilated and tortured and destroyed because of just a handful of decision makers, corrupted, and greedy for power, greedy, greed, greed. That's what it's all about, greed. Money, power, territory, it's all material. They want it all. And they're willing to do terrible things to get it, to harness the power, to get the wealth or gold or jewelry or silver or, or, or other monies they do things they do horrible things to get it they cheat people they rob people they lie to people because they because see money is power in their eyes if you have money you can I can have power over other people that's just the way it is so that's what is evil yeah the love of money is the root of all evil Love of money is the root of all evil.